Ralph Wilson Stadium, the place where the Buffalo Bills call home, will be our site for this excellent matchup between New York and Buffalo. And now to Tom Hammond and Chris Collinsworth for the game. Tom? With a beautiful day in the forecast, we'll get ready for today's game. Hi everyone, Tom Hammond here, along with Chris Collinsworth. Chris, this looks to be a good one. You know, everything starts up front. Talking about the offensive linemen, about the defensive linemen, they have to play well in this one. Both coaches have to challenge these big guys offensively and defensively. Three wide receivers set. The Bills motion to the left side. They'll throw on first down. Throws it out. Out of bounds, incomplete. They went with a sideline pass, but he couldn't stay inbound. And that would have been a spectacular catch if he'd been able to come up with that one, just thrown a little bit too far outside. Back to pass. Gets the pass away. Loose ball. And is picked up by one of the linemen. That one almost cost them possession. Wide receivers aren't necessarily the strongest guys on the field, and a lot of times they get that ball ripped out of there. Edwards hands it off. Fumble. Barnes recovers the loose ball. The ball popped out on that play, but they got it back. And I can tell you this, just because you recover that fumble doesn't necessarily mean you're going to keep it. You have to be a man to hold on to one of those things at the bottom of a pile. Got him down at the 25-yard line. It looks like the defense just lost containment there. And you really have to look at your safety play anytime somebody makes a run of that distance because the very essence of playing the safety position is you have to be the last guy to protect your end zone. The big run sets him up with another first and ten. Edwards comes up to the line. Three wide receivers split out wide. He's looking to throw. He throws a bullet across the middle. Parrish was the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. Please join us down at field level after the game for the official. They line up in a one-back set. Children of all ages. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Feeds it to the back. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Tried to find something, but there wasn't anything there for him. Yeah, not anything at all. And as a running back, you're probably going back to the huddle going, uh, guys, uh, a little help, please. Looking to throw. The pocket is collapsing. Finally make the tackle, and it will be first and goal. He shows no hesitation and gets it in there to get the first down. Yeah, you wouldn't hesitate either if you were standing back there in the pocket. I say the heck with it. Get it out of there fast. Let somebody else handle it for a little while. Touchdown! And I think you see there exactly why Marshawn Lynch has won over these fans and his teammates so quickly. Sure, he's fast, he's explosive, but this guy is an old-time street fighter. He fights for every yard, and if he gets close to that goal line, forget about it. He's getting it in. Set down. The kick is up. Buffalo is up a score. And here's your drive summary for that last series. The kick is away. Hickson takes it at the four. Brought down at the 29-yard line. And their offense will come onto the field for the first time in this game, already down a touchdown. Let's see what they do with the play calling here. The last thing you can afford to have happen right now after that big drive is to go three and out. They hand it off. Cuts back and he's dropped. 
Jacobs gets six yards on the play. Second down now, four yards to go. Ball on their own 36. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. Gain of two. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes, and that time there were no holes, really, and he was lucky to get anything on the play. Passes to his left. Brought down around the 43-yard line. And that will be enough for the first down. You know, it really wasn't a horrible call that time by the defense. But any time you have to try and stop an offense like this in those medium yardage situations, you really have to come up in the coverage. Manning drops back. Flips it out short. What a shot! Shocking. On the Strong, accurate throw nine. leads to a pretty good game. Now, they didn't pick up the first down that time, but you drop back, you make a good throw like that. Now you're in position to try and pick up this first down. Back to pass. Throws wild on the run. He's brought down at about the 39-yard line. You know, it's really easy to overlook those big guys on the line, but they did a good job picking up the blitz there. Yeah, that's a great call, Tom, because when you get a blitz package like that and your offensive line can, first of all, figure it out and then get a block, it's very tough to cover one-on-one -on -one in the secondary. He's dropped at the 36-yard line. Jacobs gets about four yards on the play. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 36-yard line. Manning back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Tackled around the 12-yard line. And that pass was moving. Yeah, and it's not that quarterbacks without strong arms can't make it in this league. But boy, it sure is an asset to have a guy with a cannon like that. They line up at the 12. Jacobs alone back. He'll try the end zone. Hits him square in the hands, but he fails to bring it in. It's the ninth play of the drive. They come out with a big set. It's the tailback. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. Gain of less than a yard, and that makes it third down. They're in the shotgun with three wide receivers. Back to pass. Makes the throw out to his left. He's finally pushed out of bounds. It's going to be first and goal. They just couldn't get to the quarterback in time. It's one of the dangers. You bring those extra defenders trying to get after the quarterback, and you're going to leave some man coverage on the outside. That time, the quarterback able to take advantage. He doesn't get back to the line. The defense just ate up. Excellent. Well, those defenders get paid, too, and every once in a while, they win the battle. Clearly, that time, they were all over this offensive line. Under heavy pressure, tipped pass. A great play by the defense to knock the ball away. And these defenders have been close all day. You better be careful if you're the quarterback. One of those is going to turn into an interception. The backfield is in the offset eye formation. Fakes the run. Passes. End zone. Simpson picks it off. Simpson well, he looks like he was in the right place at the right time. Unless you're the quarterback, then he was in the wrong place at the wrong time.
First and ten. Ball on their own seven. Lynch is the deep back as they line up in the eye. Buffalo motions right. Looks to pass. Gets the pass off. Brought down at the 21-yard line. What happened there? Well, the defense was in zone coverage. They got good pass protection. And any time that happens, it tends to really stretch those zones and widen the holes. Hands it off. He's going to be tackled for a loss. Tried the run, but there was nothing available. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole, and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Again, he'll get the call, and he will lose yardage on the play. He was caught with nowhere to go. This is a pretty good running back, and if you can hem him up like that, pretty impressive. Shotgun formation. They motion to the left. Sets up the play action. Completed. And they get him at the 25. It's completed, but it'll wind up short. Well, it's not a horrible call in that situation because you put the ball in the hands of a playmaker. You try and allow him to create, but you're seeing now defensively when they close together like that, it's going to be awfully tough to pick up that first down. He gets it away. McQuarters fields it at the 35. He's tackled at about the 49-yard line. Quarterback threw a pick on their last drive. Let's see if he's able to shake it off. Manning is lined up under center. I formation this time. Drops back on first down. Rifles this one out to the left. And he just managed to get a piece of it. Nice play by the defender. And as a receiver, you really have to do a better job of coming back to the football at that point. You have to help the quarterback. Manning drops to throw. Pass is complete. Tackled at the 42. And you won't see the coaching staff complaining about that. Yeah, coaching staffs generally don't complain about too much when they have a quarterback that has the leadership qualities and the arm strength and the ability that this guy has. Gets the pass out. No completions. The pass is incomplete. They could not convert on third down. What do you think, Chris? Put it here or go for the field goal? Well, either way, this is a tough situation. And on that third down call, if they had picked up just a few yards, it certainly would have made this field goal easier. He punts it. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. They had to punt it away on their previous drive. Gives to the back. The defender gets him to the ground. That's a two-yard gain. That'll bring up second down. The Bills line up with three wide. He drops back to pass. He's under pressure. It's tip. Third down coming up after that incompletion from their own 22-yard line. Buffalo comes out with three receivers in the shotgun. Edwards with the give. It appears to be short. What happened on that series, Chris? The defense was good and the offense stunk, Tom. What else you need to know? New York is lined up. They look like they're sending the house after this punt. Punts it. McQuarters takes it at the 32. Brought down around the 41-yard line. They could do nothing against this defense on their previous drive. 
New York lines up with three receivers, single back formation. Sets up the play action. Almost intercepted. The pass was deflected and swatted away by the defender. I think the quarterback may have had to throw that ball a little sooner than he wanted to. The pressure was starting to get there. Jacobs gets it on the inside. He's dropped around the 45-yard line. The halfback gets the ball and picks up five. Third and five coming up. There are three wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. Back to pass. He needs to get rid of it. Smith was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. So, it's fourth down. They'll line up to punt this one away. He gets it away. Fielded at the 19. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. The Giants line up with a nickelback. Pitch out. He's tackled at the 37. The halfback received the toss and exploded up the field for an eight-yard gain from their own 37-yard line. New York brings in their nickel package. Thirty-eight yard line. Ain't it two? Really nowhere for the wide receiver to go on that one. I'm not sure if the quarterback realized it was man coverage on that play. Edwards hands off, and it looks short from up here. That was a poor series for this offense. Yeah, the defense barely had to even break a sweat on that one. Defensively, when you can take an offense and get them off the field in three plays, that's pretty good stuff. Mormon punts it, and he kicked this one pretty well. McQuarters fields it at the 18. He's dropped at the 36-yard line. Pretty nice job picking up yardage on that punt return. He's definitely got some breakaway potential when he's back there returning kicks. You give him just a little bit of room, he could break it for a big one. Fakes the run. Can't complete it. Tumert is the intended receiver, but they can't complete the pass. They'll face second down and 10. Jacobs lines up as the single back. He drops back. Throws on the run. And he caught it. At the 30, to the 20, to the 10. Makes a move and he's in. Touchdown. They hooked up for a long touchdown. I don't care what you say. Anytime you see a big pass play like that, I think it's as pretty as anything that happens in sports anywhere. This should add the extra point. And the point after is good. He kicks it. He'll return it from the six. He can't bring him down. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to punt it away. 
They'll start this drive at the 32-yard line. The Bills come out with the offset eye. And they get him right around the 36-yard line. Pick up of about five, and that will bring up second down. Buffalo comes out with two tight ends. Back to pass. Dumps it out right. He gets knocked out of bounds at the 45. Excellent pass for the quarterback on that play. I'm really enjoying watching the timing between this receiver and the quarterback. We're seeing a well-schooled offense now going to work. Back to throw. Pass is right. It's tipped away. Evans wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. So they'll face a second and ten. Ball on the 45. The Bills come out with four wide receivers. The quarterback in the shotgun. Drops back. Surveys the field. And it's caught. He's dropped in the open field. Reed grabbed that one for a gain of two. So that'll make it third down. New York brings in the nickel here. Back to throw. On the run, he throws it. Had his hands on it and dropped it. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say, what happened on third down? And you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. It's away, and it's a booming punt. The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. Carried along by their dominant vertical game, they were able to put one in the end zone on their last drive. Jacobs on the run. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Jacobs gains around eight yards on the run from their own 28-yard line. Quarterback is in the gun. He has three receivers in the formation. Looks to pass. Knocked down. And not a good throw that time. He forced it right into coverage. Well, this is a guy who's known for taking some risks, but that was an unnecessary risk there. Lucky that wasn't intercepted. They'll give it off here. Tackled at about the 31. He just put his head down and pushed forward for the first down marker. Well, one thing you know as a running back, as long as they keep moving the sticks, they're going to keep giving you the ball. Picked up the first down, did his job. He'll get the call again. Great open field tackle. Four-yard gain on the play. That brings up second down. Ace backfield this time. It's the tailback. What a brutal hit. He broke a huge one on the delay. What a great call in that situation. Caught the defense a little by surprise that time. They were looking for pass that time all the way. They go with the halfback delay and pick up a big first down. Manning on first down. Into traffic, and it's picked off. He makes the catch and is finally brought down after a decent run at the 17. First down, 10 to go. All on the 17-yard line. One man in the backfield. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Let's get it. Come on, come on, come on. 
Edwards hands it off straight ahead. He's dropped at the 10. A seven yard run by the running back. They line up on the 10. Lining up with three wide. Brought down at about the seven yard line. They pick up two yards. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. The Bills come out with the offset eye. He fakes it, throws it short, and it's completed. Gets in for the touchdown. This offense has so many different weapons, the fullback takes it into the end zone. I remember when fullbacks used to look more like offensive guards out there. Now you got guys that can catch it and run it in for the touchdown. What a play. They'll look to tack on the extra point. And the point after is good. And we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Booming kick. Hit and dropped at the 27. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. From the gun. Little handoff. And they get him right around the 28 yard line. So a pickup of maybe three. That'll bring up second down. Second and seven. Ball on the 29. Manning lines up under center. Three receivers are split out wide. Manning hands it off straight ahead. Tackled at the 30. Got maybe a couple of feet. And so it'll be third down. Now they'll face a third and six situation. Ball on their own 30. Manning drops back, fires it right, and he's out at the 39-yard line. He put something extra on that throw, and it'll keep the chains moving. And that's really what it takes sometimes, because defenders are so quick out there, if you don't put a little extra pop on it, they can get there. Jacobs again. Brought down at the 49-yard line. This back just made those 10 yards look easy. Second down and very short coming up. Only one man back. He fakes it. And the receiver is open. Good call to not force anything downfield. Yeah, the defense had that pretty well covered, but the quarterback made a smart decision, dumped it out of there, and picked up the first down. The Giants come out in a two tight end set. Gives to the back. And he makes it out to about the 47 yard line. They get two yards. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Again with the run. Tackle at the 43 yard line. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Third down once again. Let's see if they can convert this one. The Giants line up in an I formation. The halfback with the carry. And they get him at the 39 yard line. Ward gets about four yards on the play. From the 39 yard line. Fegels is waiting for the snap. Yeah. 
Punts it. Down in the end zone for a touchback. And they take the field with one thing on their mind, another scoring drive. Three wide receivers set. They go with the run. He's tackled at about the 21. Lynch picks up two yards with the carry. From their own 22-yard line. Out of the gun. Here we go, Luke 45. Luke 45. Let's keep him down here. Let's cut him. Let's cut him. Chris Cross. Chris Cross. They go with the run. He lost yardage on the play. Taken back a yard, and that makes it third down. From their own 21 yard line. The Bills come out showing three wide. Edwards hands it off straight ahead. Tackled at the 23. And that will bring up a fourth down. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. Punts it, and he got a good one here. McQuarters fields it at the 34. They really did a good job keeping him contained on that one. No question about it. He needs a little more help out of his blockers than he got right there. This is a dangerous guy, and if he can get in some open space, he can create some problems for you, but just no space to be found there. Pitch out. And they get him at the 49-yard line. Pitched it outside, picked up enough to convert for the first. That's a pretty play, isn't it? Anytime you get that pitch to the outside, the running back catches it in stride. He finds a nice hole, pick up the first down. Always like watching that play. Gets the throw off. Tips it away. The defender got there in time to break that play up. He did. He was able to get his hands on the ball, but if he had missed that one, that one might have turned into a really big play. One man backfield. They go with the run. He's dropped at the 48-yard line. Jacobs gets three yards on the play. Looks like three wideouts this time. Drops back with the throw. Diving catch, he makes the grab. That was a sensational catch. He just showed some great hands on that one. Yeah, it's a good point, Tom, because anytime you're diving for the football, if you're bobbling that ball at all, as soon as your body hits the ground, typically it jars loose, but a rock solid catch. Again with the carry. He's brought down at the 33. Jacobs picks up a yard on the play. Oh, that was a big shot right there. You talk about getting your bell rung. That was the Liberty Bell ringing that time. Come on now. 45. Luke 45. Watch the ball. Hands it to the back. Tackled around the 32-yard line. A pickup of less than a yard. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. He needs to get the pass off. That pass wasn't even close. Yeah, it wasn't close because the big guy was giving him a whack just as he let that one go. He was really under some pressure that time. Fegels is back to punt. He'll try to keep this one out of the end zone. Punts it. It'll go out at the 10. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. They'll throw on first down. Strong throw. Makes the grab. 
Brought down at the 31. And this receiver just loves it when the defense is in man covering. Yeah, there's no better feeling than when you're coming off the ball and you know it's just you and the guy across from you. That's just good old-fashioned football, but you also know typically when you get man coverage, your quarterback is under pressure. It's first and 10. Ball on the 31. Lynch alone in the backfield. On the ground with a tailback. Hit and drop behind the line. He tries to wriggle away, but he's stopped for a loss. The well, time the offensive line just didn't get any push there. They've got to do a better job knocking those guys off the line of scrimmage. The halfback with the carry. He's dropped around the 33-yard line. Just about three yards there. That'll bring up third down. The defense lines up with five defensive backs. Gives it off. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. He just broke that one for a big gain and the first down. Boy, that's a killer on third down to allow that kind of run <laughs> to be ripped off in there. You're thinking, okay, if they want to throw the ball, take a chance on getting a big play, that's fine. But to see a run go for that kind of a gainer, that makes you sick. He fakes it. The defense has him surrounded. Tackle at the 43-yard line. They pick up two on the pass play. That'll bring up second down. Out of the shotgun. Luke 45! Luke 45! I'm trying to get you over there, baby. Friday, Friday, Friday! Let's go now, let's go. Looks to pass. Rifles it out there. Brought down at the 46-yard line. A nice looking play that time. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. Let's go! Go, go, go! Let's go, let's go! There's a play fake. Looks for a man open. And he hasn't missed a pass yet. He's brought down at the 28-yard line. The defense just didn't match up well on that play. Yeah, tough to match up one-on-one -on -one in man coverage against that wide receiver. He's pretty good. They line up in the I formation. He fights forward to about the 26. A pickup of about three. That'll bring up second down. We're at play number nine on the current drive. Buffalo is going with the offset eye backfield. Drops back to pass. End zone. Drops the sure pick. Third down coming up after that incompletion. Third down. That brings up another third down attempt. Edwards steps to the line of scrimmage. They'll come out in the single back formation. Watch the back. Whoever got the back. Let's go get it. Omaha, Omaha, Omaha. Play action. Looking for a receiver. Hardy was the intended receiver on the play, and it falls incomplete. It's fourth down. This one will be from about 43 yards out. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. And it splits the uprights. And now we'll take a quick look at the drive summary. Gets a good kick here. He'll take it from the two. Brought down at the 26-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports.
Drops back on first down. Here's the pass. Going deep to the right. That was not a good throw at all. Under pressure, he felt the heat that time and was forced to throw it away quickly. He fakes it, looking for an open man. Knocked away. He tried to force that one in. He's one of those quarterbacks who trusts his arm maybe a little bit too much. He should have never thrown that ball. Single set backfield. Back to throw. Passes, and it's picked off. He's dropped at the 22-yard line. And he has had a terrible day throwing the ball so far. Well, unless you're playing for the other team, I have no idea what's the matter with him today. He's throwing it right in their gut. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Brought down behind the line. The offensive line didn't get much of a push on that play, and the runner was stuffed. Well, that's what happens when defensively you get every gap covered. There is simply nowhere to go with the football. No chance for the running back that time. Back to pass. He throws on the run. It's picked off. What an interception by the cornerback. You know, some of these corners are just freakish athletes right now. Oftentimes, they're the best athletes on the field. Maybe they don't have the skill set, great hands, great moves, whatever but they are definitely among the fastest in the NFL. Manning looking to throw on first down. Tackled around the 44-yard line. They pick up solid yardage there. And I love to watch this wide receiver work. He is so patient with his routes. He gets down low into his cuts, and he really understands what the defense is trying to do to take him away, and he is working them over. Play fake. Sees a man, goes deep. It's tipped and intercepted. And the safety made a really nice play on the ball to grab that interception. You know, this safety is known for his big hits, but that time it was his soft hands that made the difference. First and 10, ball on their own 38. Buffalo lines up in the offset eye this time. They'll give it off here. Brought down right around the 38 yard line. Pick up of less than a yard. That brings up second down. Single back formation. Fakes to the back, and the defender intercepts it. He got deep pleated. Great catch by the linebacker, not a smart throw from the quarterback. You know, it's hard to believe that you can lose a guy that big, but sometimes those linebackers dropping underneath in coverage, quarterbacks just don't see him, and he threw it right to him. Manning hands it off straight ahead. He's tackled at the 35. The back gets three on the carry. Boy, he just took a shot on that one. As a running back, the last thing in the world you want is a short gain and a big hit. And they get him at about the 33-yard line. Jacobs gains about a yard on the play. Man, oh man, that's what those defensive guys live for right there. A shot like that, and then they always get up and have a little something to say to you as you're going back to the huddle. He drops back. Goes through his read. Makes the catch. 
Brought down at the 24-yard line. And it's the tailback with a big catch. And tailbacks love that. Anytime they can get into the open field, think about that position. You're constantly pounding the ball inside and getting hit by those big linebackers. Now you get out in open space and you have a chance to make a play. He's dropped at the 20-yard line. Jacobs gains about four yards on the play. It's second down, six to go. Ball on the 20, and there's two minutes remaining in the half. One man backfield. Shockey goes in motion. Back to throw. To the end zone. Makes the catch. Touchdown. He hauled in that long pass for a touchdown. What are you going to do? How do you defend that? That's just perfectly executed between a hot quarterback and a pretty good receiver. And the point after is good. Here's a quick look at the drive summary. Not a bad kick. McGee from the four. Brought down at the 27. On his last drive, the quarterback completed a pass, but to the other team. Throwing another one could be disastrous to this offense. They'll throw on first down. Scans the field. Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted. To the 20. To the 10. He's tackled right around the four-yard line. That's three interceptions now for this quarterback already today. You know, we always talk about this quarterback being a gunslinger, but he needs to check the scope on that gun out there. Right now, he's a little off target. First down now, they'll be looking for six points here. Jacobs is the deep back as they line up in the eye. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. No one picked up the linebacker and it cost them. And when your defensive line can handle their guys up front and not allow the offensive linemen to get down on the linebackers, it really gives those linebackers a chance to look great. With the catch. Tackle just outside the goal line. Short pattern results in a completion for the offense. You know, that's not one of those plays that's a huge gain by any means, but that's really the essence of an offensive game plan. You have to start hitting some of those short, intermediate routes, and that begins to open everything else up. He couldn't get two feet in on that one. Well, that's something receivers work on all the time, dragging that back toe, just unable to do it that time. Tynes can tie it up if he makes it. It's good. Good kick that time as he puts it right through. And here's your drive summary for that last series. The kick is away. Gathered at the six. He's hammered at the 36-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver were clearly not on the same page last time, and it led to an interception. The Giants bring in the nickel packing. Looking to throw. He throws left. He tries to spin, but he's brought down. These days, you need a back who has good hands. Yeah, running backs today have to be really complete players. You mentioned the fact they have to be able to catch the football and make plays on the outside. But blocking is so key as well. You have to be able to do it all if you're going to be playing halfback in the NFL. They line up in the shotgun. Watch the run now. Watch the run. Clean 88. Clean 88. Watch the back. Whoever got the back. Right, right. 
He drops back to pass. Looks down the field. Tipped it away. Third down coming up after that incomplete pass. It's third down, 10 yards for a first. Ball on the 47-yard line. Drops back to pass. And the defense has a heavy rush. Pass completed. He's brought down at the 49-yard line. Still not quite enough, however. They'll still be facing fourth down. And they can really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Into the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field, hoping to come away with more than just a field goal on this drive. They line up in a one-back set. He threw off his back foot. Brought down around the 45-yard line. The quarterback's been putting out some good yarding. And having success early in the game like this frees up your running game because the defenses have to keep defensive backs in coverage, so now there's more space for that running attack. And we've got a tie ball game here as we pause for halftime. The kick is away. Hickson from the four. He's hammered at the 29-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. New York comes out with two tight ends. Play action. Looks for a man open. And he's out of bounds, incomplete. He caught that one out of bounds. Well, you could see the receiver doing all he could to keep his feet in bounds, but that pass just led him out of bounds. Jacobs gets it on the inside. He's dropped at the 32-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. Offense with third down, seven yards to go. Ball on the 32-yard line. Dumps it out left. And he dropped him in the open field. Pretty good gain right there. You have so many people on this offense that you have to account for. The tight ends, the wide receivers, the running backs, even the quarterbacks. And now they're throwing to the fullback. That's almost not fair. Pitch out. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Jacobs gains around six yards on the run. They line up in the shotgun. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. Maybe a yard on the run by the halfback. So another third down upcoming for the offense. They line up in a double tight set. the halfback with the carry and they didn't get it that play was stuck from the get and it's not very often that i get really excited about defensive line play but that time the guys up front on defense were just overpowering punts it So this one goes into the end zone and that'll be a touchback. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you 
that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. Lynch on the run. He's brought down around the 22-yard line. A yard, maybe two, on the carry. Second down, eight yards to go. New York lines up with five defensive backs. Drops back. Looking for an open man. Edwards can take his time here. They get to him. They have to find a way to provide better protection for it. You're absolutely right. There was not a very good blocking scheme on that one. If you can't get them blocked with five guys, you got to start leaving in six, maybe even seven. These are tremendous pass rushers in this game today. Looking to throw. Loads up and throws it deep to the middle. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. Mormon punts it, and he really got a leg into this one. McQuarters fields it at the 44. And they get him around the 39-yard line. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Manning lines up in the shotgun. Three wide formation. Jacobs on the run. Drop behind the line. It looked as if the offensive line just collapsed. That was and it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. Jacobs gets the carry right side. And he's hammered at the 36-yard line. That's four yards on the play. And that makes it third down. Third and eight now. The Bills line up with a nickelback. Manning sends a man in motion. Sets up the play action. He throws it. And he catches it. He's dropped at the 29-yard line. The third down pass got them good yardage, but not quite enough to convert. Yeah, that was a tough third down situation. They got the good completion, a good gain on the play but probably asking too much out of the receiver to try and break that many tackles to pick up that first down. Kick is up, and he got all of this one. It's good. What an excellent kick. I don't know about you, but I was getting ready to question the coach's decision on that one, giving him an opportunity from that distance. But boy, did he ever make that coach look smart there. And here's the kick. McGee fields it at the three. That was a great hit. He wasn't getting away from that one. The defense played exceptionally well the last time this offense had the ball. The defense is in the nickel. He looks to throw on first down. Just clanks right off his hand. And it's batted away at the last minute by the defender. Just when it looked like the quarterback might sneak that one in there, a late pass defense and a good play. Lynch takes the handoff. He's dropped for a loss. A great defensive effort there. Did you see how fast that linebacker was on that one? Not only did he recognize it, but when he did recognize it, he had the explosiveness to get there. Lynch on the inside handoff. He's brought down at the 29-yard line. Got a couple, but will still be short of the marker. Yeah, and for a minute it looked like he might slip out of there, but uh, the defense got there, the pursuit was all over it, and they made a nice stop.
He punts it. It'll go out at the 48. The last time they took the field, they were able to come away with three points. Manning looking to throw on first down. It's completed. What an open field tackle. And he just couldn't get it going after making the catch. Nope, and sometimes as a receiver, the quarterback will make the wrong read and throw it to you anyway, and you give him that look going back to the huddle. You know that look? Drops back to pass. Defense is getting pressure. Drops the easy pick, and the defender breaks up the play. Just great position that time on the defensive side. The receiver really never had a chance on that one. The Giants come out with four wide receivers, the quarterback in the shotgun. Here's the give. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line, and the halfback has nowhere to go. And they can really put their opponent in bad field position with a good punt here. He punts it. And they will down it at the four. He did everything that was asked of him on that punt. Yeah, that was a great job. He kept it in the field of play. It was downed inside his opponent's territory. All the return man really could do in that situation is just get out of the way. Feeds it to the back. He fights forward to about the seven. So a pickup of maybe three, and that will bring up second down. It's second down and seven to go. Ball on the seven. They line up in a double tight set. Hey, come on, come on. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, I'm wide, I'm wide. He drops back to pass. Passes left. He's dropped at about the 19 yard line. Personal foul, face back, defense. And so the defense gives up some yards after the fly. And I know this is a game of emotion. And if you're not emotional on the football field, you're going to get beat anyway. But you can't let your emotions get away from you. Hands it to the back. And he will lose yardage on the play. Nice stop on that one. Yeah, great defense at the point of attack, but also very impressive the pursuit to the ball. They were all coming there. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Reload, reload. Edwards dropping back. Looking for a receiver. Iwanuka intercepts it. He's brought down at the 31. That's another great play by this defense. Well, I don't know if he could believe that this guy picked him off the first time, so he went back to the well, and uh, he got caught again. Little handoff. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. Jacobs comes away with two yards on the carry. Second and eight. The Bills bring in the nickel package. Back to pass. How can you drop that? The defender was able to get a hand on it. And really, that came as a result of pretty physical play at the line of scrimmage. They're banging these guys around and not letting them get into their routes. Short pass to his left. Knocked out at the 25. Well, the pass was completed. They'll still be short of the marker. You know, I just don't like that stuff, Tom. I, I call that chicken offense. You know, you go out there and you, you act like you're afraid. You're afraid to throw an interception. You're afraid to, to go for it down the field. You just settle and you bring the punter out. I, I don't like that. Kicks it. Got plenty of distance. 
hits the upright and it bounced the wrong way. Well, it looked like the set down was good. Maybe he lost his footing a little when he went to step into that one. You know, if kickers get out of their rhythm just a little bit, they can really miss a kick badly. And the score remains the Giants, 20, the Bills, 17. Fakes to the back. He throws short. He's brought down at the 37. Nice pass for the quarterback on that one with the defense bearing down on him. Just keeps the ball moving down the field. Six-yard gain and a uh, little progress. Come on, D, let's get off the field now. He drops back, looks left, throws, and he's out at the 42. And that one goes for about five yards and a first down. That's one of the things I think this quarterback does best. He gets the ball out of his hand quickly. They're a gain of about five and a first down. He drops back to pass, throws it out, and he can't hang on. Royal wasn't able to bring it in. Incomplete pass on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Offset I formation in the backfield. The halfback with the carry. Brought down at the 46-yard line. Lynch picks up about four yards on the play. The backfield is in the offset I formation. Play fake. Scans the field. Pierce has the pick. He's dropped right around the 44-yard line. That's his fifth pick of the game. Unbelievable. Tom, I have to tell you, I was the worst quarterback in the history of the planet. I played through high school in my freshman year of college, and not even I could throw five interceptions in one game. I tried, but I never did do that. He lost yardage on the play. He couldn't get anywhere on that one. Yeah, sometimes you just have to admit defeat on a play as a running back and just try and get that thing back to the line of scrimmage. The Giants line up with 3 wide. Strong throw to his left. He's tackled at the 33. That pass is good for a first down. And he had some zip on that one, didn't he? He reared back and threw that one about as hard as he could. Manning with three wide receivers. Someone jumped early down there. Full start, offense. And that one got him five yards. Well, if you want to know why Pee Wee football coaches make you run a lap if you jump off sides, it's because it can really have a negative impact on your offense, just like that one. First down, looking to throw. And he catches another. He's brought down at the 24-yard line. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. You, know, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen now. Rifles it to the left, and he catches it with no one around. And a big catch by the tight end. And I can tell you this, there's nothing that defensive backs hate more than to have one of those big tight ends in the open field running right towards them. Run right side. He doesn't get back to the line. Loss of two by the halfback. They'll set up, needing eight for the score. Manning is lined up under center. They'll come out in the single back formation. Jacobs off the right side. And they get him at the eight. So a gain of about one, and so it'll be third down. Manning is under center. Only one in the backfield this time. Tiger, Tiger, Tiger. Over, over, top, over, top, too straight. Over, watch, red man. 
Manning back to pass. He's been perfect on this drive. Right through his hands, he almost had the pick. An excellent job by the defense of disrupting that last play. And that was really on the wide receiver. Not much of a route, very little separation, and gave the defense a chance to make that play. It's good. Good job putting that kick right on target, and it goes through for three points. Decent kick from the five-yard line. Stays on his feet at the 40. Hit and dropped at the 49-yard line. Excellent return on the kickoff. You know, that's one of those plays that is a kick returner. You don't always run to the hole when you see it. You kind of run away from the hole, and then at the last second you make a break into the hole so that they don't know where the hole is because you're not running in that direction. Does that make any sense? Give to the tailback. He's dropped at the 50. A two-yard run by the halfback. Second and eight. Ball on the 50. Edwards lines up under center. Four receivers in the formation. Back to pass. The defense has him surrounded. He's tackled at the 46-yard line. Harris grabs that one for a gain of three on the play. So that'll make it third down. The Bills come out in a single back formation. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. And they're not going to get it. Great stop. The defense was ready on that series, and they had all the answers for what the offense tried to do. And that's a humbling experience for any offense. When you go out there and have those three and out series, you just go back to the sideline a little embarrassed and the defense, they're upset. They get this one off and it's a great kick. Down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense was only able to muster a field goal on their last drive. We'll see what they do with this possession. They motion to the right. Drops back on first down. He's there for the catch. Brought down right around the 32-yard line. That one worked pretty well. It sure did, and I wish all our fans could see what's happening down the field on all our television broadcasts because so much of the game now is won and lost in the secondary. On the ground with a tailback. He fights forward to about the 36. Three yards on the run. Second and seven coming up here. Ball on the 36-yard line. They'll go from the shotgun. Gives to the back. He's brought down around the 37-yard line, and the halfback has nowhere to go. So, at the end of three, score is 23-17. Offense with third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 37. Blue 45! Blue 45! He's looking to throw. Makes the short throw. And they get him at the 41-yard line. Some smart football by the quarterback on that last play, and he's now up over 300 yards passing for the game. I'm sure that he doesn't even realize he's passed for 300 yards at this point. The only thing that he cares about is walking away with a win. He knows that the stats generally take care of themselves. Gets it away cleanly. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 33-yard line. So before the offense hits the field, let's take the time to let you know that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. Run, 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 run
And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. Just a yard there. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Single set backfield. Come on, D. Set. They'll give it off here. Brought down at the 36-yard line. A one-yard gain. That'll bring up third down. The Bills come out with three wide receivers. Quarterback in the shotgun. He drops back to pass. Can't hang on. They fail to convert, and you've got to think they'll have to go for it this late in the game. Yeah, that was not what they were looking for on those first three downs, and now the pressure really comes to bear on fourth down. Here's the kick. He got some distance on it. He fields the punt at the 20. Huge hit. They were forced to punt on their last drive. They'll get the ball here at the 35. First down now and 10 to go. They give it to the tailback. He's brought down around the 40-yard line. Jacobs gets six yards on the carry. Second and four now. Ball on the 40-yard line. Only one man back. Here's the halfback. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. About four yards on the counter by the halfback. Single back formation. Shockey comes in motion. They tackle him for a loss. Excellent job by the defense to force a three and out. Always thought the most important portion of any drive was that first first down. It gives you a little offensive momentum going, but anytime you go three and out, it is so tough on your defense. A lot of times, three and outs translates to points against your team and a tired defense. He really didn't have any room to work on that punt return. Yeah, that certainly wasn't one of his best efforts there. Maybe if he would have gotten a little more help from his blockers, he could have broken one out of there. You know, sometimes it just takes one good block to create a seam to get one up the field. They'll give it off here. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Just a yard there. Little linebacker blitzed on that one, and you could see that the quarterback just didn't see it in time to audible out of that play, and let's give credit to the defense. They won that battle. Fakes the run. Phillips gets the interception. It's a fumble. Wilkinson picks it up off the ground. That was a huge turnover. What a tremendous play by the defense. You really began to get the feeling this offense was getting something going. They stripped the football out of there and kill the drive, kill the momentum. Rifles it left. Tackled at the 26-yard line. A good play to the tight end that time. And tight ends are so big that as coverage people, it's tough to figure out how to defend them. If you're on their left side, they throw it to their right side. If you're behind them, they throw it in front. Tight ends are tough to cover. They line up at the 26. Manning lines up under center. Single back backfield. Back to throw. The pocket is collapsing. Catch is made. Finally make the tackle and it will be first and goal. 
How about that pass? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Jacobs on the give. He's brought down at about the five-yard line. Jacobs gets three yards on the play. The defense come out with five defensive backs this time. On play action, surveys the field, rolls right, passes to the end zone. Oh my, the quarterback is lucky that one wasn't intercepted. Yeah, you try and fit some of those into some tight holes and every once in a while, you're going to get one pick, but that was a pretty good play by the defense. Drops back. Goes for the end zone. Mitchell has the interception. He's in, touchdown. What a huge turn of events on that one. Not only was that a tremendous interception, but when he got the ball in his hand, he looked like he knew what to do with it. What a run. And this kick will put them up by one. It's good. Over 10 minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And our score, the Bills 24, the Giants 23. The kick is away. He'll return it from the four-yard line. At the 30, dropped at the 32-yard line. Once again, we'll take this opportunity to remind you that this game is brought to you by the fine folks at EA Sports. New York lines up in a double tight set. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 33. They get one yard on the play. That brings up second down. They'll come out in the shotgun. Manning looking to pass. Looking for an open man. Brings this one in. He's tackled around the 45-yard line. You can tell these guys practice that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. He is hit hard on the play. The running back tops the century mark with that last run. The defense hasn't quite figured this kid out yet. Give them time, though. They're pretty smart defense. I don't think they're going to be able to do much more than what they've done, though. They've got to find a way to put a stop to this real quick. On the ground with a tailback. And they get him right around the 46-yard line. A nice six-yard gain by the halfback. New York is going with the offset eye backfield. Looking to throw. Defense is getting pressure. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Great call. you got to love the screen pass. And those screen passes are getting tougher and tougher to complete in the league because defensive linemen now are doing such a great job of reading those offensive linemen as they try and slip out there on the screen. 
Here's the halfback. Defense pushes him out of bounds around the 28-yard line. After that run, they might want to give him the ball a few more times. I agree. It looks like the defense is a little tired out there. Whatever the case, they're having a tough time now stopping the run. They run a counter. Brought down around the 26-yard line. Jacobs gains around two yards there on the misdirection run. It's second down and eight to go. Ball on the 26. New York is going with the offset eye backfield. Back to throw. Rockets it. Almost intercepted. What an effort out there. He just got his hands in there and broke it up. I love watching the closing speed of this defense. When they see the ball, they go get it. Manning sends a man in motion. Looking to throw. Short throw to the left. Should have had that when he was wide open. Toomer was unable to make the catch on that pass attempt. From the 26 yard line. Kicks it, got plenty of distance. Hits the upright and it bounced the wrong way. I'd like to see him get another chance in this game. That wasn't his best effort. I'm sure for a field goal kicker, it's worse to miss it by 10 or 15 yards. But when you hear that clang, and in your mind, you're thinking that thing's going through and it clangs and bounces back towards you, it has to make you sick. Throws the bullet to the right. Madison gets his hand on it. Evans was the intended receiver, but the pass fell incomplete. And they'll line this one up with two tight ends. Tackled around the 35-yard line. A couple of yards there. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. Gives to the back. He's tackled around the 43-yard line. They didn't have the ball long there. And three and outs are embarrassing for an offense. When you go out there and run three plays and have to go jogging back to your sideline, those defensive guys, they aren't too happy. Gets it away cleanly. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 35-yard line. So as the offense heads back onto the field, we'll take this time to remind you that our game is brought to you by EA Sports. If it's in the game, it's in the game. They hand it off. Brought down behind the line. Big time play by the defensive end. Yeah, and we know defensive ends are probably some of the most athletic guys in the league, and typically you think about them getting after the quarterback, but that time he uses athleticism to make a big stop in the run. He throws left. Threw it right to him, but he can't hang on. What a play by the defender. And the quarterback really caught a break on that one that that wasn't intercepted. The Giants line up with three receivers, single back formation. Manning will look to pass. Rifles it across the middle. Brought down around the 38-yard line. And for as good of a catch as that was, this offense now has to deal with a fourth down. Gets it away cleanly. Parrish fields it at the 24. He's brought down at the 40. And that was a nice little punt return there. Wow, I thought he was gone for a second. They did a good job getting to him, at least preventing the touchdown. Of course, they wouldn't have to chase him down like that if they'd have done a better job covering the punt. Edwards hands it off straight ahead. 
He makes his way to about the 48. Another solid effort by the running back. I know it may not be the popular thing to say, but I can't really give the running back 100% of the credit for this performance today. Let's face it, this defense came in here determined to stop the pass, and they're paying a price on the run. Fakes to the back. Looks for a man open. It's tipped away. And now the offense will be faced with a third down situation. Third down and two to go. Ball on the 48. The Bills go with the I formation. They'll go with the run once again. They will be short. So they tried to push it ahead, but the defense stopped them short of the first down. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. Gets it away cleanly. They down it at the three-yard line. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. New York comes out with an I formation. Jacobs on the give. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. Jacobs comes away with two yards on the carry. Second down and eight, ball on the five. Jacobs alone back. Little handoff. And he makes it out to about the eight yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Third down now, five to go. Ball on the eight yard line. The Giants line up with three wide. He drops back to pass, looking for a receiver. Throws Blyle on the run. He's dropped at the 21-yard line. And a great pass by the quarterback to convert for the first. And what we're seeing out of this quarterback is a variety of throws. Yes, he has the ability to zip it in there when he needs to, but we've also seen some touch throws, a very complete repertoire. And they get him around the 25-yard line. Four-yard gain by the back. They line up at the 25. The Giants come out in the single back formation, three receivers wide. They'll keep it on the ground again. Tackle right around the 28 yard line. So they get five yards there on the halfback draw. They come out with a big set. He fakes it. Rockets it out. There for the catch. He took a shot at the 45. He made the right read on that pass. Nice play that time by the quarterback. You know, we talk about progressions and going from one receiver to the next, but this quarterback is doing a great job in the pre-snap read, knowing who the first guy will be and getting him the football. Throws it short. Comes down with it. He's dropped at the 45. And that one will go for a first. And really top-notch quarterbacks know how to throw a football in there without leading his receiver into trouble. That was a great throw. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. The defense is changing their play. Manning hasn't missed yet with the pack. And they get him at the 38. This guy seemingly can't be stopped. He's now thrown for 400 yards in the game. Yeah, and at times he really makes it look easy out there. These wide receivers deserve a little credit too. They're doing a lot of work getting open down the field. But this quarterback's pretty special. He's tackled at the 33-yard line. So the completion goes for about five yards and a first down. Not a big play there, but a nice gain of about five yards and pick up the first down. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 33. Tackle right around the 28-yard line. Jacobs gets about four yards on the play. New York comes out in the shotgun. Manning hands it left. Brought down around the 27-yard line. Gain of two, and that makes it third down. Only one man back. Hit and drop behind the line. Nothing doing. They stop him for a loss. And I really like the discipline of this defense. You never see these guys trying to do too much. They control their gaps, and that time, there was nowhere to go. The set down. The kick is up. It's got the distance. It's wide right. He had an opportunity there. He just couldn't get it to go. Oh, boy. Oh, this game has been so good throughout. It comes down to the field goal kicker and he just can't get it done. I, I'm sure he's absolutely sick, and we've seen really weird things happen in football, but this is almost impossible now. It's there for the catch. The Giants just took their first time out. They line up at the 46. The Bills line up in a goal line formation. Feeds it to the back. He's brought down around the 47-yard line. This defense needs to figure out a way to get a few stops here. Or at the very least, force this offense to start throwing the football and possibly stopping the clock. When you can continue to pick up first downs on the ground, it makes it very difficult in this situation. Second down and a long 12. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Take the knee again. That brings up third and 13. Ball on the 44-yard line. And they will kneel down to try to run out the clock. So this one is all wrapped up. Our final score, the Bills 24, the Giants 23.